My name is Bass and today I'm going to be going through the Elgato Game Capture HD capture software. So this is the software here and I already have it open. Now I have started using the software today in terms of editing and may I say it is very good. Um, I'll start from the beginning and I'll go through it that way. So if we go to the capture section on here, around here you would see my actual um, gameplay live from my Xbox if I had it plugged in but I don't. Over here, this is something that's really, really important, the game. Now, whenever you save a video file, or a capture in this case, it would save under the game. So, if you see here, I have the save videos. Now, this is the folder of all my videos in. Within that, then I have a file, or a folder, sorry, for each individual game. So, COD 4. Here, I messed it up a bit. Um, Minecraft, MW2, MW3, and so on. So then within the folder, so I'm already on the COD4 section, you'll see I've got COD4 Capture Test 1, 3, 4. So these are all the games which I've recorded with this and I've kept, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's try and edit a video. So we'll use this one here. Now, if you see, I already have two clips. This one here is a little clip I done earlier. Um, I'll play the clip for you. So I was just knocking around on Halo with some friends and I jumped down that kid off. It would be quite an interesting video to edit out. So you can see I've already uploaded it to YouTube. Um, there's a link there. If I click on that, it'll take me to the YouTube page. So, but I can also share the video via Facebook, Twitter, email it. I can uh, put it on Apple TV, put it on my iPad, iPhone. Send it to iMovie and just take it to the movie section. However, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load up the main video. So let's click on that and then load it up. So this is the video itself. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to click this minus button here and zoom out. So it makes the timeline smaller in terms of uh, the space in between. So it's around just over 8 minutes long. And I'm going to go back to... Now one thing which I would like is if I had a section which actually gave me um, the time. So let's just go full screen here. Just while he works on doing that. Okay. Oh, there we go, we do. Okay, that makes perfect sense. So if you want to use it to its full functionality, go full screen. Got a little bar down here that allows me to do stuff. But I want around 6.45, so I'm going to hit play here, and as I get my kill stolen by my friend, go into this room and have this dodgy sort of fight with some enemies which are sort of goes slightly fiercely, and I end up getting this achievement. So let's hit the space bar there to pause the video, and I'm going to go back a tiny bit. So we are around 6.42, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go up the top and I'm going to say edit. I'm going to split the segment at the playhead. The playhead is the little blue bar. So I'm going to split it there. Set out the full screen mode and I'm going to hit play again. Just turn my volume down the back of this. So I go ahead and I get the achievement now. I open it up to see what the achievement was for. As you can see, it obviously glitched out because I've never done that. So I'm going to leave it play a little bit more, and I end up spawning down there and getting in. But oh well. Just hit play again, and we're going to go edit. And then we're going to hit the uh, split segment again at playhead. So then this is the clip. This is the tiny little clip. Now, this clip here would then be put into this section over here. If I go ahead and click on him, I'm going to say new video from timeline selection. So then I have a 24 second video clip, which is this section now. So as you can see, it's really edit, uh, easy to edit out your videos. Splitting out certain sections, adding sections in, and you can put them into a whole new uh, video if you want to. So just go ahead and I'm going to go to the back of the beginning. And I'm going to say, let's share this to YouTube. So I've already added my account in. I've got one account linked. So I'm going to change the name to this, Halo Reach. 
not sure the achievement is called, but I'm going to say achievement glitched up. And then I'm going to say... I'm going to miss out the O for some reason. I'm going to say edited in the game capture HD software. And rather than saying edited in, I'm going to say edited for using. And in terms of editing, I'm going to say uh, cut. Okay, so I'm going to name this then. I uh, get some tags. Halo Reach. Xbox 360. If I go right, I got two game HD quality test. And so I'll do. So I'm going to post a video um, in the Elgato Gaming playlist. I don't quite know what that is, but I'm assuming on their channel they have a section where they'll uh, show up the video. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That's what's setting the video down here. Let's uh, click in and it'll tell me how it's doing. Just let us uh, render through. Now, this software, as I said when I first started using it, I had some crashes. Um, I was hoping the ITV software would hurry up and get an update out. Um, because, well, I thought this software wouldn't be any use. Uh, but then, over the last couple of days, it seemed to have improved. There was an update a couple of days back. Um, I haven't changed how I've been using my uh, Mac at all. It's been running exactly the same. If not, I've been using it, running more programs at once. However, it seemed to have uh, fixed himself somehow. Seems to record really well. The um, file structure is just amazing. The way you save things in the games is brilliant. Um, I'm actually don't think I will go back to the ITV software because it's just so easy to use. Um, except the whole idea of being able to save certain gameplays under the title of a certain game is just brilliant. I really do like that. Um, I'm not sure how it'll render out in terms of well, how it'll upload to YouTube and it'll upload in HD and so on. And I think with more complex videos, if you're having a commentary, then you'll need to uh, render them out or share them into uh, iMovie. But overall, I think it's easy to use. That's just the main whole good thing about it, really. Uh, it's easy to use, it works, and so on. So let's go out of full screen now. So I'm going to go ahead now, go back to my section here. So the video is still going. In terms of what else you can do to the video, you kind of limited in terms of things you can add as far as I can gather um, there's no other things you can sort of add on to it you, you can't add titles or any of that which is a bit of a downer really it'd be nice if they added that feature and it, it might be here somewhere but I haven't been able to find it and well truthfully it's not going too well and you can have transformations Substitutions, text replacement. Another really good feature, which is something I used earlier. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click play on this video. So you see, I'm in my gunfight. Now I'm just going to hit pause using the spacebar. And I'm going to find the clip. Something that looks quite cool. Okay, so let's go with that. Now I'm going to go ahead here, I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to say uh, screenshot to desktop. So that takes a screenshot, let's go to the desktop now. And then here it is. So if you have um, something, you're, you're playing a game like COD, you have a quad feed, and you want to take a screenshot of, I don't know, as the hit market increases, or as you get your quad feed and you can uh, see the uh, feed on the left hand side, then you can go ahead and uh, capture it, which is pretty cool. Um, it's something you're not going to use every day, but it's still an interesting feature. I my trash can. I took some pictures earlier, which are under Halo. 
pretty cool. So you can easily uh, spend some time with it. That's that. So let's go ahead and open back up the software and see how the upload is doing. Okay, so the video has been uploaded, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to click on the YouTube link. That's going to take me through to YouTube. And that sort of, uh, let's have a look. Okay, and the video is up. Now, in terms of answering the question, I've now let's upload it in HD. Let's go to Video Manager. Okay, and yes, it did. So it uploads in HD. So that there is um, an overall advantage. That's, a, that's an extra win. Hands down to them. That's good. So let's go ahead and I'm going to share this to Twitter as well. So, um, I haven't had an account yet. Let's go out of the account. I'm going to be covering up my passwords. They must send me a. Uh, right, so. Uh, okay, remember, don't usually do that, but I think it's safe. So, I'll fry the app. Um, okay, no fry, it's not a problem, that's an easy to do. So I uploaded it via YouTube, yep. Yeah. Um, description. Let's go ahead and just say Halo Reach. Achievement. Uh, glitched up. Okay. When it glitches up, I'll do. I'll just say upload. Let's see how it works with this one. Full screen again. Okay, so it's gone away in this then it's been on Twitter. Let's see whether or not I've actually shared it to my Twitter page. So let's go back in, let's minimize that. Let's go back into my Google Chrome. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, Go to my Twitter page. Oh, Twitter.com. Okay, and there it is. Go ahead and I can view the video. View the video in my feed, which is cool. And there we have it. Good stuff. Okay, overall, that's brilliant. Works like a treat. So that's it will conclude my uh, overall look at the uh, Elgato Game Capture HD software. So far, this seems to be running really well. As I said, I did have my issues, but now that seems to be sorted. There it is, uh, another update, which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install this update now. So as I said, that concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you didn't, uh, please say in the comments why you didn't. Thank you again for watching. Have a good day.